Wow, look at that. Take a look at what a lot of snow and cold can do to the roof of your home. These pictures are from the Boston area from about three years ago. Yeah, the city saw an onslaught of storms during February that brought feet of snow and temperatures well below freezing. And so when you see those icicles uh, blocking the gutter system, the snow behind that, that is known as an ice dam. And here's how that all comes together. All right, so let's talk about a little mock-up of a home and a roof. And of course, what happens, heat rises, right? And in the home, that begins to rise up towards the attic, warms the roof, and that helps to melt what's on the roof. And yet it's still very cold out, so that new melted snow refreezes into the gutter system. More water is then blocked, can't get through the ice, and you wind up building up water behind the ice in the gutter. So as that buildup takes place, uh, if there are any cracks in the roof, what's going to happen is, well, the water that's built up begins to seep through any of those cracks, and now you're dealing with a, a problematic situation. Absolutely, you have water on the inside of the home, which is something we're all trying to avoid yes. all times of year. So removing these ice dams can be big business. That's right, and we got uh, Tony Finney from Ice Dam Guys joining us now from Glenville, Illinois. Tony, thanks so much for joining us here uh, this afternoon. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. So uh, let's get into this a little bit more. How do you guys go about removing uh, these ice dams? Uh, well, first we we get out here, uh, we get our ladder out, and we find out where the ice dam uh, is. And uh, what we do is we crawl up there, expose the ice dam with a shovel, remove the snow, and then uh, we use a low-pressure steamer unit to actually cut and remove and slowly melt that ice away from the house. Now your your view from your perch from above right now is epic. You can see all the roofs and the snow behind yeah. you, but that means you're up in the weather, right? If, if these ice jams often happen when there's more bad weather coming. So what are you worried about when you're up there on the roof? Uh, you know, I mean, if, you, if the ice dam is, is still there and blocking flow off the house, um, if, if the warmer weather or rain uh, comes in the future, uh, it's not going to have a chance to escape off of the roof, and that's when you're going to see uh, bigger backing up and more leaks. Now, Tony, how, how long do you estimate uh, a typical roof takes uh, in terms of uh, removing an ice dam? Uh, that's a good question. It, it, it's hard to say. Um, on average, you know, you see two to four hours, but sometimes it can take a little bit longer. It's hard to say until we're up there and we actually see are, are, some, are some roofs harder to tackle than others? Uh, do you have like a worst case scenario, your horror story moment that you tell everyone from the job? Oh, absolutely. Uh, today we're on a, a rooftop on a commercial unit, so it's a flat roof, uh, but that's not always the case. Uh, it's very common that we're on very steep roofs or sometimes uh, three, four levels. Two days ago, I was on a house uh, right downtown and I think it was about five stories. So yeah, they, they do vary from difficulty. And Tony, is there anything as a homeowner I can do or we can do to sort of uh, look out for or prevent these ice dams from forming? Uh, there is. The, the, the best thing you can do to prevent the ice dam is to have all the snow removed off of the roof. Uh, obviously, that's pretty tough for some homeowners. But uh, any, anything you can do to remove the snow the first four to five feet uh, from the gutter line going up the roof is usually best. That's going to help allow things to flow warm temps. All right, a lot to think about, but, uh, you know, a cool view nonetheless. Yes. All right, thanks so much yeah, for joining us absolutely. today. Yeah, it's it, pretty out there today. but.